I have a confession to make. Sometimes when I'm feeling afraid or worried or scared, I think about the disciples and I think, man, they really had it easy. They were there right there with Jesus. They got to feel his presence and see his works and learn directly from Jesus. Like, I wish I had that. And at the point where we are in our story today, uh, the disciples are afraid and they're scared and they're worried and they're looking at Jesus and they're saying, Jesus, you're telling us all of these things are going to happen, that one of us are going to betray you to the authorities and, and our beloved friend is going to, to betray you three times and you're going away? And they're scared and they're worried and they're sad because they don't want to lose their friend and their, their teacher. And Jesus understands and he looks at them and says, yes, I'm going away, but I'm going to send you something. So we are in the Gospel of John, which is in the New Testament, and in chapter 14, so big number 14, and we're going to be reading the verses, so the little numbers, 15 through 21. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. So Jesus is saying, yes, I am going to go away, but if you keep my commandments, and earlier what his commandment was, was love each other as I have loved you. That's what he said. That's from, from John, that's, that's the command. You need to love. You need to love each other as I have loved you. So as Jesus loves us is how we're supposed to be loving everybody else. That's a big, that's a big amount of love. And he says, if you know me and you love me, so that's if you know that Jesus is your Savior and Jesus is loving you, and reaching out to you and calling you and being your best friend all the time, if you can hold on to that, then you will also receive this gift. And the gift, and in our reading, he used the word advocate. But the actual word is a word, um, it's like paraclete. It comes from a Greek word, parakletos, I think is how you say it in Greek, parakletos. Anyhow, paraclete is the word that um, is translated from. And the word paraclete means to be beside and to call. So it's, it, what it means is that the Holy Spirit is beside us and with us and calling us. And that is God beside us and with us and calling us. And the word actually has a couple different meanings. Paraclete does, and they say it depends on who's using it and how they're using it. So in this case, paraclete can mean an advocate. An advocate is somebody who fights for you and what's best for you. So God is fighting for you and what's best for you. A paraclete can mean a counselor. And that means that that's somebody who helps you make decisions and helps guide you. So God is helping you make decisions and God is guiding you. And paraclete also means comforter. A comforter is somebody who can help you feel peace, can help calm a troubled soul. So God helps us find peace and helps calm our troubled souls. 
So this is a form of God that Jesus says is going to come to them after he leaves, after he, he leaves them. And uh, we call it the Holy Spirit. What's cool that I really like about this reading is that Jesus says that, okay, here it's, those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. So, on that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. So, if we looked at it, we could almost see a circle. So, Jesus is in God, and God is in you, and you are in Jesus. And it's, it's Jesus' way of saying that because we have this Holy Spirit flowing through us and around us and supporting us and being our advocate and our counselor and our comforter, then God is with us all the time. And we are with God all the time. It's important to see that you are a very important part of the relationship with God. Your interactions with God, the way you talk to God, the way you worship God, the way you sing songs for God, the acts that you do for God, it's all you are part of the circle. You. You have been from the very moment that God conceived you. You have been part of the circle and the relationship with God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So that's important to remember. And it's also, here's another, another thing about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came after Jesus. And we look, can look at that to say, Jesus could make the disciples and make the people feel a certain way. And they could see the acts of Jesus. The Holy Spirit comes in the place of Jesus being on earth, walking around with us. The Holy Spirit covers the whole earth of everybody who loves God and wants to follow the commandments of, of Jesus to love each other. So the Holy Spirit is around us and, and making us feel the feelings that Jesus gave to the disciples and giving us the counsel and the advocacy and the comfort. Just like if I could see Jesus right here, if I could see the man of Jesus right here next to me, that's how the Holy Spirit is making us feel. That can be hard to think about, right? Because you can't see it. I can't see it. Can you? Maybe you can. And one way that we talk about that is we think about things that we can't see around us, but we know they are there. And the reason we know they are there is because we can see what they do. And we can feel what they do. My favorite example is the wind. The wind outside. If you go outside, can you see the wind? And I mean, can you actually see air moving? You can't see air moving, but you can see what it does. You can see it moving through the limbs of the trees. You can see it blowing the grass. You can see it moving things around you. You can feel it. You can feel it on your skin. Sometimes it's so blowing so hard that you can feel it in your eyes and you have to squint your eyes a little bit. I can't see the air. I can't see the air moving, but I can feel it and I can see what it does around me. And that's one way we can think about the Holy Spirit, the paraclete that Jesus sent to earth to be with us all the time. I think that's a cool way to think about it. And I have a craft. I put it on the email too, so y'all can do it. And again, it's a craft with things you can do in your house right now. So, see it? I made a pinwheel and it actually does work. It does work. And um, it actually works if you just run around the house with it too. We, we discovered it'll spin around and it's fun. Um, or you can take it outside. It's supposed to be a really windy day today. So, might be able to get to play with our pinwheels outside. Um, and it's just a piece of paper and marker. It says to use a thumbtack. I don't have any thumbtacks, so I use like a little tiny little nail. Um, and then a pencil, just a regular old pencil with an eraser. You can put it in there. And you can play with your pinwheels outside, and you can see that the pinwheel will move. You can't see what's moving it. You see the pinwheel moving, but not what's moving the pinwheel. 
So do that and think about the Holy Spirit all around you and comforting you and being your advocate, fighting for what's best for you and counseling you, helping you to make good decisions and be the best version of you. And that's God around us all the time. So when I think about that, it makes me realize that I have no reason to be jealous of the disciples that got to be with Jesus on earth. I mean, yeah, it still would have been a really cool experience, but I have God with me all the time. I don't have to be in the same room with Jesus incarnate, with the the man Jesus. I have God in my heart, in my mind, next to me, around me, no matter what I'm doing or where I am. I think that's really cool. I love God so much for doing that for us. That's a beautiful gift. Um, Coming up soon, we're going to get to celebrate the day that that gift came, um, Pentecost. So that will be very exciting. And think about that. So now we know what gift is coming and we can think about it and we can think about the celebration of it and how exciting that is to know that this is the birthday of when God sent that paraclete that advisor, that counselor, and that comforter to be with us and in us and part of us, always calling us. So um, now we can say the Lord's Prayer after a couple of moments of silence. If you have anything that you'd like to pray for aloud or silently, I welcome that now. God, thank you for sending the Holy Spirit and thank you for being with us and around us and part of our lives all the time, even though we can't see you with our eyes. Thank you for helping us to know that you are there. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So now would be a good time you could sing Jesus Loves Me or one of my most favorite hymns is breathe on me breath of god and the words are breathe on me breath of god fill me with life anew so that i might love as you wouldst love and do as thou wouldst do i say that when i'm really scared or worried or having a hard time and it helps me because i know i can feel the holy spirit give me peace in my soul so I'm grateful for this gift from God and from Jesus, and I hope you are too. And another thing I'm grateful for is you, and you being out there and showing God's love to everybody you come into contact with. I think that's great. I hope you have a good day.